I guess I'll just go from like the pad to the runway. Um, that might be a bit high. And is RCS working? Yep. Alright, let's uh, see what happens here. <laughs> Not a nominal takeoff, but something happened there. Look at it go. <laughs> it looks pretty realistic. Go over to the north here, aim for that runway. Well, we've broken the 150 meter uh, FAA limit. <laughs> Look at that though, that's pretty cool. Now let's come down here. those landing legs deployed. That looks pretty accurate. <laughs> Let's see if this thing can land softly. Ooh. <laughs> the legs got crushed just like on the real one. <laughs> but it's down. <laughs> Wow. Just as Elon designed it. <laughs> nice. Bring it back in and uh, make some improvements. So, yeah, something happened here with the, uh, with the launch sequence. I did rotate this thing upside down. Oh wait, maybe I shouldn't have, oh yeah, maybe I was thinking about that backwards. Maybe that shouldn't be upside down. things need to be maybe I just need to turn the dampening the damping down cuz yeah I mean they extended just fine but then once they landed they just kind of stuck out to the side Let's try that again.
Okay. We're gonna aim for the runway again. This time hopefully there's no explosions when this thing takes off. I had it at about half throttle that time, but I had to go to full throttle to get it to separate. But half throttle should be good. Let's see. Well, there's still an explosion, but it's fine. I don't want to go up too much. So I just need to modulate that TWR. Alright, let's get it to go up some more to 150. Translate over to the runway. Realistically, this is where the uh, the landing pad would be. It would be like right over here, but I want it to be on a solid surface. Damping on these. Oh, yeah, look at that. Turn the damping down, and those things stand right up. Wow. I think the damping, yeah, I want to keep it at like. Maybe 75. But then, yeah, once it lands, putting that down to maybe 25 would be good. Just so that they're a bit more sturdy. But I think that might be a bit too rigid for when it first lands. I think I might need to lower these down a bit as well. There's not very much clearance there. I'm talking about this like I'm actually like working on something that I'm gonna <laughs> do something with, but actually these things have a lot more fuel in them. Why don't we take off again? That's what Elon would do, right? Let's go this way. Translate west. Wow, look at that. This thing flies pretty stably. Reluctant to say that because now it's going to crash. Back on the runway. Ah. All right, straighten out now. fell over. <laughs> but that sta stainless steel, that's uh, pretty sturdy. So it didn't blow up. <laughs> Look at that. Nice.
All right. Um, yeah, I want to modify that again. This is fun. I'm going to keep messing around with this. Um, these things need to be lowered. That should be good. Let's see. Maybe up once more. Put that down to 50, and then after it lands, I can lower it further. RCS. I don't know. I feel like having these would be good, but those are only one direction. It doesn't have rotational control unless I want to modify it. I guess that one's alright. These tanks right here are themselves look kind of stainless steely, but they're not shiny like that. Actually, I'm going to add another section here. these the only ones that have the coloring like that? Oh, do I have to... Let me just do this real quick, because these legs are interfering with that. good. Now 
power to just barely poke through there. Maybe if I add <coughs> a couple more of these, or four more rather, that would help balance things out. further. I should load in the uh, NASA Space Flight Texas Tank Watchers <laughs> logo and put it on the flag there. to like turn up the decoupling force on this thing. the legs. Oop. And still nothing exploded. Alright, let me just stand this thing back up. Graceful. Come on, stand up. So we need to add more monopropellant because we are using it twice as fast now. But look at that, it's able to stand. Let me uh, do another brief hop just up and down.
yeah, I mean, I guess that just goes to show in real life these Starship test units, they are pretty top heavy, I guess. I mean, they have a lot of mass down at the bottom with the engines, but it's not so easy to get them perfectly balanced. So that's why it seems like they're always leaning to the side when they land. Because they're not perfectly aligned on those legs. But I think that's pretty good. I'm surprised how accurate this looks, at least. I mean, I guess it's a simple thing to replicate. It's a big metal cylinder with the rocket engine on the bottom that goes up, translates, and comes back down. <laughs> pretty cool. I think I'm going to do another flight again. Just like last time, I'm going to go to the west. Still got off the runway somehow. Let's get back up there. This thing doesn't break. Seems pretty reliable in that regard. I think I should auto, uh, not auto strut, regular strut these legs to that base tank there. <laughs> I could recover it, or I could see what happens if I do this. No SAS, just let it go. <laughs> I like that. Actually, this thing might be able to land again. <laughs> if I just let it fall down, I'll do a hover slam, see what happens. <laughs> it still didn't blow up, wow. 
I was expecting to just, uh, you know, go full throttle and send it up in the air and run it out of fuel, but then it still has some fuel. <laughs> wow, it's pretty indestructible. Alright, now recover it. <laughs> it deserves recovering after that. It survived. I guess the only thing that you can do to destroy these things is uh, pressurize them too high, and then they pop. 